Hey, hey, welcome to Creative Ramblings, where I share simple, inspiring projects. Today, I am going to show you how to cut and assemble this beautiful, simple shaker card using your Cricut. Let's jump in. You are going to start in Cricut Design Space, and these are the pieces that you need. You want a rectangle with some writing on it. You need one solid heart and then five cut out hearts. These can all be made using the shape tool over on the left. Then you're gonna to wanna to send your project over to your Cricut Maker 3 and upload the tools as it prompts you. I'm using a black pen to write a message on the rectangle. Then I am cutting out the outlined hearts out of a really soft pink cardstock. And finally, here is a huge tip for making shaker cards. You can cut the plastic protective cover that comes with your Cricut mat. I am using an older cover here that I no longer need. I am just going to load it onto the mat, just a small piece of it. And when you're choosing your material, you can actually select the cover sheet for your mat and then cut it appropriately. So here's what you need to assemble this card. We have the rectangle with the writing on it. We have five cut out hearts. Then we have our plastic heart that we cut out of the matte cover. Now you're gonna need some confetti. You just need a pinch of this. I've got some heart confetti left over from a party that I had last year. Now you're gonna wanna use a couple different kinds of glue to attach all of this to the blank card. I am using a liquid craft glue and a tape roller. You can find links to my favorite supplies down in the description of this video. So to get started, you want to use a liquid glue to attach one of the hearts to the rectangle. And then just keep layering them. You want a total of four hearts on your rectangle here. Then add a pinch of confetti to the middle, not too much. You want this to be able to move around. And if you add too much, it's just gonna sit there. Then using a little bit of liquid glue, you're gonna add the plastic sheet over the hearts. And finally add that last cutout heart on top to finish off your design. This is a really simple shaker card. These are so much fun to make and they're really fun to give as well. You can make this for any occasion. Turn that writing into happy birthday and use a circle instead of a heart for a generic birthday card that you can give to anyone. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss my next simple, inspiring project. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.